Hey guys, I just thought I'd show you a little uh, method that I use to magnetize a sail needle. Um, I carry a sail needle just for in case I need to do an emergency repair or something um, on maybe a knife sheath or something. But then I magnetize it too. You know, it's a real common practice just in case your compass dies or or gets broke or lost or whatever. You have a kind of a backup. Thing. And then plus, I, it's something I always have with me. I don't always have a compass with me, but I always have this sail needle with me. First, I'm going to show you my knife sheath, because I carry it on my knife sheath, how I carry it. And then I'll show you the method that I use for magnetizing it. The reason I use this method, and not just simply laying the sail needle over the top of the two terminals of the battery, is because I can't remember and I get, maybe I'm too lazy to look it up, which direction the current would need to flow through that sail needle in order for the tip of my needle to be pointing north. Another reason why I do it is because sometimes I tend to go a little overboard and I don't, I don't necessarily think that one battery is good enough. I think the more is better sometimes. Well, the last time I did that method, more is better. I can't remember how many batteries I hooked up in series, but it was enough to get that sail needle going red hot in about a half a second. I mean, it was cooking, and it bent the sail needle. It was like a piece of wet spaghetti. So this method, you can hook as many batteries as you want together, and it's not going to ruin your sail needle. So first of all, let me show you my knife sheath, and then I'll show you my setup for magnetizing a sail needle. Okay, here's my knife sheath, the back of my knife sheath. This is a Blind Horse Knives Woodsman Pro. Right here, this grommet hole or whatever you want to call it, I tie a small piece of bank line. Actually, it's a, it's a piece of large bank line that I've separated the strands and just got a couple little strands off of it, or one strand. And I tie my sail needle there. I've got it stuck behind a couple pieces of inner tube, just kind of rides there nicely. And then a P38 can opener. I don't know, I just, just how I do my knife sheaths. I just like having that there. So that's how I carry it. Now I'm gonna set the camera back up in just a second, but I'm gonna explain to you what I, what I do. Now I've already taken, this needle has already been magnetized. I magnetize them all uh, as soon as I get them basically. But what I did is I took this needle and I wrapped this copper wire, insulated copper wire, that's real important, around this sail needle. Now from what I remember from school, the direction of the current flow, you take your left hand, it's a, it's a variation of the left hand rule, but uh, you take your left hand and the fingers will point in the direction of the current flow and then your thumb will point towards your pole of your magnet. It'll point towards the north pole of your magnet. Um, without getting too technical, it's, it's going to point north. Let's just put it that way. Your thumb will point north. So the current, there's a couple different theories about how electricity flows. No one really, at least when I went to school, they didn't have a real definitive answer. So there was two separate theories. But the theory that this uses, or that this rule is based off of, is the fact that current will flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Now I know in cars the theory is backwards, or that's how they use them, but for this, for most things, it goes from negative to positive. Everything will still work the same, it's just cars are different. Don't ask me why, because I don't understand them myself. But like I said, for this theory, the current flows from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So if I put this piece of wire and make a direct short with it across these two terminals here, the current is going to flow from this end, this would be your negative, It's going to start out here and go under, wrap around. Your thumb is going to point north, which is what I want because I want the tip of my needle to
to point north. Now if you saw in my steel wool video, you saw how you can hook a battery in series with another battery and you will double the voltage, or you will, you will add the voltage of your batteries together. In other words, I could even have another one out here and then I would have three times the battery voltage. These are six volt batteries, so connected like this, I now have one 12 volt battery. Like I said, when I originally did this, I might have been battery happy. I might have done three of them. I can't remember. All I know is it didn't take long and this sucker was magnetized pretty good. So that's it. Just wrap your copper wire or wrap your wire insulated around your sail needle and then that way the current is not actually flowing through your sail needle and your sail needle won't get hot. These other wires might get hot but they're insulated and if you've got too many batteries connected together use a pair of pliers and event, you know, if you go crazy with it eventually your insulation will melt. This is something that you could do if you don't want to buy these batteries. This is something you could do if you're careful enough. You could do this in your car battery. So your car battery already has a circuit going in it and if you took the negative terminal where it bolts to your frame or the negative wire where it bolts to the frame of your car you could treat that the same way. So that would be and it wouldn't hurt your car either. You would just put a nice heavy gauge piece of wire, wrap it around this sail needle, re-bolt it back to the frame of your car or back to the, you know, you could do it up by the terminal of your batteries too. And it's not going to hurt anything because that current's still going to flow no matter what. Here we have a direct circuit because we don't have anything in between it utilizing the electricity. But in your car you've got something, you know, you've got your stuff utilizing your electricity and it will magnetize your sail needle that way. So, there you go. So now for the test of this to see if it works. This way is north. Out that way is north. So, we'll put it in there and see what happens. That kind of messes things up if it touches the side of your bucket just because of the it tends to attract the side of the bucket. I forget what that's called, but kind of not cooperating here. So there you go, it keeps trying to point north. So like I said, with that method, you can put a bunch of batteries together and you're not going to melt your sail needle. All right, guys. Take care.